were temple of the Holy Spirit. My jsme chrámem Ducha Svaté. Purchased at a great price. Zaplaceni za drahou cenu. This is the key element that moves us. A to je ten klíčový prvek, který nás žene vpřed. All the world talks about wealth, money. Celý svět hovoří o bohatství, o penězích. About beauty. O kráse. About status. O statusu. About intelligence. Inteligenci. But here God says this is the basic of it all. Ale Pán Bůh říká, ten základ toho všeho is the movement of the Holy Spirit, je práce Ducha Svatého, us, který nás vnitřně přesvědčuje, že jsme zaplaceni za velmi drahou cenu. Jesus Christ, je to krev Ježíše Krista. I would like at this moment to introduce something that may seem real obvious to you. Teď bych vám chtěl představit něco, co možná se vám bude zdát úplně běžné. But before I do just that, it's very simple. But before we do just that, I want to do a dynamics real quick with you, right here, right now. A ještě dřív, než to uděláme, tak bych chtěl s vámi projít určitou dynamiku. How many of you know the fruit of the spirit? Could we start? Kdo z vás znáte, jak, fun, jak za sebou následuje ovoce Ducha Svatého? Mohli byste to citovat? Fruit of the spirit? Raise your hands, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Okay. What about the gift of the spirit? Gift of the spirit? Raise your hand if you know. Okay, so it's a gift, and I have more gifts here than than fruits. So this group will discuss a little bit among yourselves. Somebody lead there. What are the fruits of the spirit? Somebody share what the fruit of the spirit is. I want somebody here that raise their hands to please discuss real quick what are the gift of the spirit. Okay. Gift of the spirit. And then may God give you the courage to come up. And share with us what you discuss in the group. What is that? What is the gift? What are the fruits? Okay. Jste mohli ti vedoucí vaši potom přijít a říct si nám, na co jste přišli, proč je to ovoce a proč jsou ty dary Ducha Svatého. You have a couple minutes, no more than that. Go. Máte jenom pár minut na to prodiskutovat ovoce Ducha Svatého s Marianem a s Jirkou dary Ducha Svatého. Thank you. 
And some people think if they have a little bit of that, that they have the fruit of the spirit. Ale vlastně všech těch devět vlastností popisuje to ovoce ducha. But all those nine qualities, they describe the fruit of the spirit. Protože v tom originálním jazyce to ovoce nemá to, to množné číslo jako u nás. Because in the origin, original language, there is not the plural like we have. To znamená, že jako kdyby my jsme chtěli popsat třeba kivy nebo pomeranč, tak řekneme třeba pomeranč oranžový, má tlustou sůpku, podobně bílá vrstva. If we would like to describe orange, we would say it's a uh, orange fruit, which has a white uh, core under it, and then it has a fruit. Uvnitř jsou takové šťávnaté měsíčky, že, které jsou takové tenké mlánce. Inside is the juicy fruit, so covered by the special um, yeah, lahodné, sladké, and it's delicious and kyselé, kusy, sweet and sour taste. Voní. And it smells nice. No, to já jsem nepočítala, takže tak jsem to kolik vlastně si jsem popsala. So we have a lot of qualities of orange. A takhle je to vlastně s tím ovocem ducha. Aby jsme měli ovoce ducha, my potřebujeme získat od Pána Boha, prosím ho o všech těch devět vlastností, aby jsme se takhle projevovali. A And it, první... in the same way it is with the fruit of the spirit. If we want to have the fruit of the spirit, we need to have all those nine qualities to ask God uh, that we would uh, express ourselves in these nine qualities. A ty první tři vlastně. The first three are the three. They express Působení Boha, nebo náš vztah s Bohem. Our Působení. relationship with God. Tak když máme vztah Boha, a On nám dává do srdce lásku, radost When we pokoj. have relationship with God, He puts into our heart love, joy and peace. A ty další tři popisují vlastně náš vztah s lidma. Mezi lidské vztahy. And the next three qualities, they describe our relationship with people. A to je ta trpělivost, láskavost a dobrota, která se projevuje v kindness, goodness. A ty poslední tři vlastně vyjadřují naší osobnost. And the last three, they express our personality, our character. Tak to prostě 
přijímali to tady hlavu. So I understand it. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Do we all agree? Souhlasíme všichni? No. No? Yes? Yes, yes. okay. I have a question, just one more question for this group. Mám ještě jednu otázku na tohle skupinu. Do we have those fruits without the spirit? Mohli byste mít ovoce Ducha Svatého bez jeho, bez toho Ducha? However, I cannot think in the Bible. Is it part of it? Možná trošku. No? The Holy Spirit is the moving power that is bringing the fruit. Tell me one fruit that I cannot have without the Holy Spirit. Řekněte mi jedno ovoce, které nemůžete mít bez Ducha Svatého. Faith, love. You mean people that don't believe in God, they have no faith? Myslíte, že lidé, kteří nevěří v Boha, nemají vůbec víru? Nic? Could you be exercising faith in everything that you do, even turning your car on? Používáte víru, i když zapínáte auto? So could you be exercising these fruits without the Spirit? Mohli byste používat to ovoce bez toho ducha? Okay, think about it. But we're going in the right direction. Could we love a person without the Spirit? So we could have the fruit of the Spirit without the Spirit? Not the fruit of the Spirit. Could we have these fruits without the Spirit? Yes or no? They're going yes or no. That's okay. From here, we like to hear from you. What are the gifts of the Spirit? Takže pojďte nám říct, jaké jsou dary Ducha Svatého. Pokud si uvědomíme, že Pán Ježíš vlastně vysílá své služebníky, učedníky do světa, If we realize that uh, Jesus is sending his disciples to the world, tak uh, vlastně uh, to ovoce je už výsledek toho, jaký by člověk měl být. So the fruit is the result how the man should be po proměně Ducha Svatého. After the change of the Holy Spirit. Díky jeho bylo. Because of the influence of the Holy Spirit. A Pán Bůh nás vlastně, nebo Pán Ježíš nás vyzývá, abychom měli kromě toho, jak se bychom měli být. And the Lord Jesus is calling us beside how we should be. K určitým činnostem. To do something, to make activity. Pán Ježíš dává dary. Jesus is giving gifts. Abychom skrze ně mohli sloužit. To serve through them. Takže když vysílá své služebníky, so when he is sending his disciples, dává jim tyto schopnosti. He is giving them this abilities. Ať už je to jak dar proroctví, it may be the gift of prophecy, tak i jeho výklad, uh, the explanation, když dává dar učit, uh, gift of teaching, když dává tak tež možnost uh, aj uzdravovat, gift of healing. Všechno to má svůj význam v té služebnosti, pro kterou byli učeni. And everything has its importance uh, in the kind of service that they were um, appointed to. A Pane Ježíš moc dobře věděl, že ti učeníci se setkají s různými duchy. And Jesus very well knew that disciples will meet different spirits. Protože budou v konfrontaci. Because they will be in direct confrontation. Dáno jim dár, aby uměli je rozpoznat. So he gives them the gift of uh, uh, discerning the spirits. A Duch Svatý vlastně udílí tyto dary tak, jak sám chce. And Holy Spirit, he is giving the gifts as he needs and wants. Takže ovoce je důsledek působení Ducha Svatého. So the fruit is the result of Uh, the influence of the Holy Spirit. A dar je prostředek, jakým způsobem se dostanete k lidem. And the gift is the means in the which, which way we get to the people. Very good. Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> Question. Otázka. Could we have gifts without the Holy Spirit? Mohli bychom mít dary bez Ducha Svatého? Could we? Could somebody be a teacher without the Holy Spirit? Může být někdo učitel bez Ducha Svatého? Může někdo učit? So is it possible to have these gifts and not the Holy Spirit? Takže je možné mít dary, ale nemít Ducha Svatého? Is it possible to have fruits Je možné mít ovoce bez Ducha Svatého? You know that is the biggest danger. A to je to největší. That is the most 
deceitful thing that we could face. Sometimes we see somebody with the fruit. And we recognize the fruit. And we immediately line it up to the Holy Spirit. Or we we'll find somebody with a gift. We we'll find somebody with a gift. And we say, but they're good. This is a good person. This is this is a, a worker for God. This is a perfect candidate. Bam! Right there, we identify it. A my řekneme, no tak, protože má tohle ovoce, tak je to perfektní člověk, kandidát pro práci v Božím díle. Is it possible je možné, that we could have fruits and we could have gifts and it's not from the Holy Spirit? Že bychom měli ovoce a měli dary a bylo by to bez Ducha Svatého? How many of you think it's possible? Kdo z vás si myslí, že to je možné? Okay, I'm not trying to convince anybody, but Já vás nechci what makes the difference? How do we know then that this gift and this uh, uh, fruit is from the Holy Spirit? How do we know? Do we have to do an interview and check and find out and maybe see what they did in the past and how honest and how faithful and their morals? Do we need to do all that checking? How do we find out? What do we do? <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard time. It is very hard. By the way, I realize, I realize. I need to translate you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. It's a hard time more than one way. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? You're married? How many of you are married? How do you know you have the fruit of the Spirit and, a, and the gift of the Spirit in your marriage? Anybody? How many of you have kids? How many of you know that you're being a good parent with the fruit of the Spirit and the gift of the Spirit? How many, how many have your parents alive? Still alive? Parents. Parents, parents. How do you know? <laughs> good. I like that. They're right there. You've been risking it. Yes, yes, they're here. Children, how many of you know that you're acting towards your parents with the fruit of the Spirit and the gift of the Spirit? Anybody dares to know? It's really simple. It's not that complicated. It doesn't mean that I'm, I, I've done it and I, that's it. I know how to do it. I'm not telling you the Bible tells us how to do it. And when I look at it, I go, oops, I made a mistake again. Look at John 16. Verse 12 through 15. What does it say? Co tam je řečeno? John 16. 16, 12 15. Uh, Jana 16. kapitola od verše 12. do verše 15. Yeah, go with verse 12. Ještě mnoho jiného bych vám měl povědět, ale nyní byste to nesnesli. So there are a lot of things that we need to discover yet. There's a lot of things that when it comes to a lifestyle center and working together, we still need to discover yet. How does that work? Beyond almost working with other people, we have to find out how do I work with other people. We have to find out things about ourselves yet to be revealed by God. A než začneme uh, pracovat s jinými lidmi, potřebujeme poznat věci o sobě, jak já vůbec uh, mám pracovat. Oh, but there's hope and there's joy. A je tam naděje a je tam radost. Look at verse 13. A ten uh, máme to v verši 13. Jakmile však přijde on duch pravdy, uvede vás do veškeré pravdy, 
neboť nebude mluvit sám za sebe, ale bude mluvit to, co uslyší a oznámí vám, co má přijít. Oh, the Spirit will talk. Duch svatý bude hovořit. The Spirit will reveal to us. Duch svatý vám zjeví. But he won't talk for himself. A on nebude mluvit sám za sebe. Only what is revealed to him by the Father. Jenom to, co mu zjeví otec. And the will of the Father will reveal to you, you personally, what's the will of the Father. I heard. Go ahead. A vůle otce zjeví vám osobně, jak, co on si pro vás přeje. I almost heard almost a hundred percent of you. Já jsem skoro slyšel 100% vás. Say earlier this evening. Že jste řekli dnes večer. I'm searching for God's will. Já hledám Boží vůli. What is God's will? Jaká je Boží vůle? If it's God's will. Jestli je to Boží vůle. But we're still kind of wondering. Ale stejně pořád ještě uh, tápeme, hledáme. This is an awesome promise. He will reveal it to us in due time. A toto je úžasné zaslíbení, protože on říká, že nám to v pravou chvíli zjeví. And here's the secret. It's just a couple of words, but it really gives us a big vision with a small, a small secret. A tady je to malé tajemství. Je to jenom pár slovíček, ale je v tom velká hloubka. Verse 14. A to je verš 14. On, on mě oslaví, neboť vám bude zvěstovat, co přijme ode mne. We've seen the, the um, gifts of the Spirit and we've seen the fruits of the Spirit. Viděli jsme dary Ducha Svatého a ovoce Ducha Svatého. But one of the main activities of the Spirit Ale jedna z těch hlavních aktivit Ducha Svatého It's right there in verse 14. And what is it? You tell me what it is. V tom 14. verši. Zkusíte mi říct, co, uh, co to je? Somebody tell me. Řekněte mi někdo. What is, it, what is the Spirit going to do? Co bude dělat Duch Svatý? Glorify God. Glorify God. So, Takže, if the Spirit's job, let's call it that for now, okay, is to glorify God, if I have the right Spirit, and I have the gift of the Spirit, if I have the fruit of the Spirit, a jestliže mám ovoce Ducha Svatého, what do I actually do in my life? Tak co vlastně dělám ve svém životě? What would I be doing? Co bych dělal? How could I know if it's the right thing? Jak mohu vědět, že to je ta správná věc? Yes, to Glorify God in everything that I do. A slavit Boha ve všem, co dělám. So children, Děti, in your relationship with your parents, rodiči, you must glorify God. As you do that, dělat, the gifts and the fruits are automatic. To, They're to given to you by the Spirit. Parents, a rodiče, if you glorify God as you enter in this loving relationship with your child, which is part of the gift and the fruit, což je uh, část toho daru i toho ovoce. It's a given. Tak je to dáno. It's a given. Tell him something. Say it. No, an example, um, it has to be connected with, uh, with what the Bible says. What is glorified God? Ask the daughter. How is glorified God? Ask that. What does that mean? Kelly uh, říká, že uh, vždycky to musí být definovanou Biblii. Give an example. What does that mean? Protože co to znamená oslavit Boha, že? No, uh, to, we need to know. What does that mean? What does that mean to glorify God? The question is asked, what does it mean to glorify God as a son or as a daughter? Could it boil down to the basics of what responds to what? What did we talk about physics and chemistry? It has a very intrinsic small relation And the bottom line, the word will be obedience. It just corresponds to it. It fits like a glove to the hand. Mohlo by to být, že to všechno vyváří do jedné základní substance a tu by se mohli nazvat poslušnost. Does that make sense? Dává to smysl? Now, having said that, a když jsme to takhle řekli, That should give us some peace 
into entering this week. Uh, As we enter in this week or this, this series of lectures, we should find peace, that he is in control. We should just ask for God to reveal to us his will for us. Měli bychom prosit Boha, aby On nám zjevil Jeho vůli pro nás. Yes. A jedna, jedna z těch věcí, jak to poznat, je, když naše já je mimo, je pryč. Je možné oslavovat Boha, když je tam pořád to ego? Is that possible? Glorifying God, it would be impossible. We may think it's possible. Oslavit Boha by bylo nemožné. Když my si myslíme, že je to možné. Huh? I'm sorry, it's in English. No, 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 you say it just translate. Oh, you just looked at me and spoke, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just translated by looking at me. Okay, I apologize. I didn't understand. Sorry, prostě. The the only point that I could actually see that happening is when we actually. Think of being humble. Jediný bod, kdy se může opravdu uskutečnit oslava Pána Boha, je když v pokoře. And we are proudful about our humbleness. I am so humble. Když, hm, když v pokoře si mys, uh, no když si myslíme, že jsme pokorní, ale při tom ve skutečnosti nejsme. Mm. But genuine, genuine, true. True fruit of the spirit. Skutečné ovoce ducha svatého. Gifts of the spirit. A dar ducha svatého. It's about him, not me. To je všechno o něm. Anything else in between will be a copy. Cokoli mezi tím je jenom napodobení nám. So let me finish this real quick by bringing about something totally unexpected. Please, please, no, no, please say. Můžeš nám něco říct? Chci vám ještě říct něco neočekávaného, ale nejprvědám slovo. The gifts of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit. Dary Ducha Svatého i ovoce Ducha Svatého? Is not something that I should seek to try to do. Okay. To není něco, co já si mus, musím vytvořit. It's something that as I seek to glorify God. To je něco, jak se snažím oslavit Boha. It naturally flows from within me. He gives it to me. Automaticky roste skrze mě. It's not like, oh, I want to love, so let me love. Or I want to have joy, so I do this. Or I, you know, it's not trying to find a formula. To have these things, okay. it's just glorifying Him and naturally coming to Him. Mm -hmm. It's getting more complicated. Je už se nám to trošičku komplikuje. But it's awesome. A je to úžasné. What would be maybe an exception to that rule? Mohla by tady být nějaká výjimka k tomu dle pravidlu? Are you fighting against the flesh? Bojujete taky někdy proti tělu? Are you fighting with human arms? Or spiritual? Is it a spiritual battle? Is it possible that I can actually do it even if I don't want to do it? That's the exception. Okay, but even when you do it, you don't boast that you did it, but you're doing it to glorify God. A i když to děláte, tak se nechválíte, že to děláte, protože to děláte k slávě Boží. Am I making sense? Is that clear? Rozumíte mi trošku, co myslím? Je to jasné? In other words, God will put the doing and the will both in you. It should be like a tree given the fruits. Jinými slovy, Bůh dá přímo do vás jak to chtění, tak také to činění a bude to automatické jako to, že roste ovoce. But there's a little word. Ale je jedno slovo, které v latině zní praxe. And even if you don't want to, you practice and you do it because you know you're being obedient and that's what you have to do. A i když se vám nechce, tak to praktikujete, protože víte, že to je to, co máte dělat v poslušnosti. You could be faithful to your wife. Můžete být věrní své ženě. And you're being faithful. Maybe not because you really want to. Maybe you have a bad relationship and you know you're having a hard time. Ale jste jí věrní, i když nechcete, protože jí nerozumíte, máte spolu nějaký konflikt. But you're being obedient to God's principles of love. Ale jste poslušní to, 
tom božímu principu lásky. And you're gonna do, you're not gonna do anything to alter that. A neuděláte nic, i když se cítíte, že, že vám to nejde, abyste přestoupili jeho přikázání. Bůh vám dá tu, to chtění, tu as you practice being obedient to him. Tak jak to budete praktikovat, jak, to, jak budete poslušní vůči nebi. Někdy prostě bojujeme, protože to necítíme. A protože to nepřichází přirozeně, tak se cítíte, já jsem tak špatný, já jsem hříšník. Chci se vás zeptat na něco vychamné. Je to tak, že vždycky se cítíte perfektně a vždycky se cítíte, že se vám chce pomáhat a to všechno úplně vždycky automaticky. But there's a lot of value. Ale je hodně, velká hodnota. Ale velká hodnota. Když jste jen jedná, ptáte se Lord, aby se vám 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 I'm gonna switch a little bit. There's a lot to be said on that. I'm gonna switch something real quick on you. A teď bych chtěl přejít k dalšímu tématu. Because it's here and now. Protože teď jsme tady. It's a Sabbath. A je sobota. God gave us the Sabbath. Pán Bůh nám dal sobotu. And for us to read, find the true, profound meaning of the Sabbath. Proto abychom Každý z nás osobně našli ten hluboký význam soboty. We should go back to creation a little bit. Měli bychom se vracet zpátky do toho stvoření. Maybe we will find even secrets for our lives today. Možná, že najdeme i tajemství pro naše životy dnes. For you see, God from the very beginning wanted to reveal Himself to us. Víte, Pán Bůh úplně od začátku uh, chtěl uh, sebe zjevit nám. In the beginning, first verse, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Na počátku je tam řečeno v Bibli, Bůh stvořil nebe a zem. Heavens. Nebe. Space. How do you measure space? Vesmír. Jak se to dá změřit? <laughs> no. High five. No, no, but how do you measure space, any space, not the heavens, but space? Takže jak měříte jakoukoliv velikost? Výška, šířka, hloubka. Depth, okay? Three things. Tři věci. You say those three things? You say space. Space, three things. Řeknete prostor a je vám jasné, že ty tři věci. He's revealing himself. On zjevuje sám sebe. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in one, one and three. Bůh, Otec, Syn a Duch Svatý. Jeden, tři a dvě. Heavens and the earth. Nebe a zem. Earth, material. Země, materiál. To jsou tomy prvky. How do you talk about or express substance? How do you, what are the elements of substance? How is it? Jak popíš, popíšete hmotu? Quantify. In liquid? A tekutina? In... Solid uh, and in Yes. Uh, okay, all three. Three, three in one. One in three. Empty. Why do we have problems believing that God is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? And he starts creating and it gets really complex. Every day it gets more complex. A on začíná stvořit a každý den je to složitější a složitější. It's fascinating. Vegetation. Je to fascinující. Vegetace. Animals. Zvířátka. Then they could fly and they could swim underwater. Pak můžou lítat, pak můžou plát. Then he makes man. Pak tvoří člověka. Then he makes woman. A ženu. If we follow the rule that every time he creates it gets more complex. Kdybychom následovali to první, že pokaždé, když tvoří, tak tvoří něco komplexnějšího. He creates man very complex. Tvoří muže velmi složitého. It says oprotos anthropos in, in Greek. 
O proto San Tropos mini he's never created anything like this before. It's unique. It's the first time in protect. On nebyl proto aby chránil. Now we don't have time. We don't have time. But if you'd only discuss, especially here from the women, find out what is to provide. My nemáme moc času, ale kdybyste vy ženy měli říct, co to znamená starat se, let me, let me get an idea from you. Should he only provide, only provide financially? Raise your hand if that's the case. Myslíte si, že to je jenom finančně, že by se měl starat finančně? No hands, huh? Vrněte ruku, jestli si myslíte, že jenom finančně. Should he also provide psychologically? Raise your hand. Nebo by měl se i psychologicky starat. Come on, raise your hands if you think he should provide psychologically. Vrněte si, že i mentálně by se měl starat. Okay, most of you can answer everybody. Uh, should he provide socially? Myslíte, že i sociálně by se měl starat o tím? Should he provide spiritually? A duchovně? So now the dimension no. got divinely protecting in every way. This is hard. Takže Women don't think this is just easy. Teďka uh, boží úkol byl, že on měl chránit ve všech dimenzích. But I'm talking to, to a man. This Ale is what God has given us. Já teď mluvím k chlapům, protože to nám dal Pán Bůh. That's a beauty. To je naše povinnost. <laughs> Good luck. No, no, there's no luck. It's just divine. We I need to be connected to the Spirit in order to provide the fruits and the gifts, or else we're not gonna get it. Protect the same way, physically, social, mentally, and spiritually. You've done a wonderful job. <laughs> I happen to know a little bit that they're married and they're a good couple and they praise the Lord together and do ministry together so this was like the time. Women on the other hand I told you that it was a little bit more complex. Let me explain. Look at Genesis chapter 2. Verse 18. And it says that God saw that it wasn't good for man to be alone. So he decided to give man something. What was that something? And something is not a good word. <laughs> it's not a good word. He gave man what? What did he give? Help. Help. What help? Men like that word, huh? Help. <laughs> There's some women they will admit and say, help. But eventually it's a fight. It's a problem. Let's discuss this a little bit more. So, give me other possibilities. Help is a good one. What else will you say? An assistant. What else? A wife. A žena. Yes, wife. A partner. Partner. A woman. Anything else that I can think? Inspiration. A mirror. Okay. Well, I honestly. Pleasure. Pleasure. Okay. Support. Support. Let me let me let me do something here real quick because we're talking about creation and complex before we get to the Sabbath because we're gonna get really confused if we don't. Stvoření je opravdu složitá věc, a my se chceme dostat k tomu tématu soboty. Tady. Have you heard the word Ebenezer? Ebenezer. Slyšeli jste už to slovo Ebenezer? Yes. Does it ring a bell? Znívám něco. What does Ebenezer Ebenezer mean? Co to znamená Ebenezer? Until now, the Lord was helping us. The Lord was what? Helping us, reading us. The Lord was reading, helping, helping us. Okay, help, help. Stay with the word help. Okay. Takže to znamená, až dosud nám pomáhal Hospodin. If you look in the book of Deuteronomy, thirty-three twenty-six. Jo, páté Mojžíšovi třicetři dvacet šest. Deuteronomy thirty-three twenty-six. Páté Mojžíšovi třicetři dvacet šest. Yes, please. Nikdo není jako Bůh, 
Ješure na pomocti jeden po nebesích, na oblacích ve své velebnosti. He, the Lord of the heavens, he is also our what? Our... Bůh nebes je zároveň kým naším? He's what? Our... Čím je, čím je naším? Helper. Naším pomocí. Look, Ebenezer, we, till today he has helped me. God of the heaven is our helper. This woman was to be our helper. Those are the only three times in the Bible that we find this word in Greek. Takže v řečtině nacházíme to slovo uh, pomocník na třech místech. Žena byla jako pomocnice, pak Bůh až dosud nám pomáhal a tady hospodin je náš. Eser kenekdo, eser, that helper is right there. Tak ten eser znamená ta pomoc. It was the divine characteristic given to women. To, by, to je nebeská vlastnost daná žena. When they try to translate that word into English, a když se snažili to slovo přeložit, they come up with the meaning life. Tak přišli s významem záchrana života. When we see studies today, když vidíme studie dnes, men that are married and they lose their partner, když muže, muži jsou ženatí, ale ztratí svou ženu, they also lose longevity. tak ztrácí dlouhověk. Velice, nebo daleko jednodušeji onemocní. She is our life saver. Protože ona je naše Záchrana života. Now, if she is your life saver, Takže jestli ona je tvoj, tvoje záchrana života. Is your life saver, won't you want to protect and provide for your life saver? Nebudeš chtít jí chránit. If he is protecting and providing, won't you want to save his life? A nebudeš ty se snažit zachránit jeho život? It's a perfect gift from God. Je to perfektní dar od Boha. But it's not finished. Thank you. I love this, but it's not finished. <laughs> we still need to get to the part of the fruit. And the gifts. All Satan knew. And he presented the fruit. And he challenged that woman with gifts and possibilities. Dary nemožnými. God made you this way. Pán Bůh tě stvořil takhle. That is to think, he made you a sergenetto. You could give life and protect life. On tě stvořil jako uh, pomoc, jako ochránkyní života. But I have higher gifts for you. Ale já mám pro tebe něco ještě vyšší. Your eyes will be open. Otevřou se ti oči. And you'll be like God. A ty budeš jako Bůh. Oh, it's the same trick today. A dnes dělá úplně ty stejné podvody. He will still present gifts. Pořád and he will still present fruits. Představovat ty dary. For you to develop. A to ovoce, abyste na nich měli pracovat. For you to be successful. Abyste byli úspěšní. I found my mission. Já jsem našla svou misi. I found my dream. Já jsem našla svůj sen. I found what God wanted me to do. Já jsem našla to, co Bůh chce, aby dělal. I will preach the word. A já budu kázat. I will be a missionary. A já budu misionář. To me be the glory. Oops, no, to, to God be the glory. <laughs> a já budu slavný. Oh, ne, počkat, pan Bůh bude slavný. It's a trap. To je fals. God never promises success. Bůh nikdy neslibuje úspěch. He doesn't call us to success. On nás nepovolává k úspěchu. He calls us to what? On nás povolává k čemu? To faithfulness. Věrnosti. Success is his. Úspěch je na něm. It's a given. To je dáno je jím. And to make sure that was true and nothing but the truth. A abychom měli jistotu, že to je pravda, nic jiného než pravda. He finished this creation with what my wife would say his own signature. He signs it. He finished creation by saying, Love God. <laughs> And he wanted to make sure by creating Sabbath. 
Or some people think that he only created six days and the seventh he rested. Oh, I have news for you. He created on the seventh day. He created what? Rest. He created rest. But there's more than that. We say Sabbath is the day of rest. Why? If I rest on Friday, would I get this benefit? Would I get health benefits? Mental health benefits? Would I? Any seventh day would I get blessings? Každý sedmý pátek měl bych požehnání. I have news for you. Mám pro vás zprávu. Yes, you will. Ano, budete z toho mít prospěch. We as humans have a cycle. A cycle. Já jako lidé máme cyklus. It's called circa septimum cycle. Jo, říká se mu takhle. Every seventh day something happens that when we read that seventh day we find physiological restoration. Každý sedmý den, když odpočíváme, tak máme fyziologický odpočinek obnovu. And if we don't rest every seventh day, když neodpočíváme každý sedmý den, tak se nám věci hroutí. You know they've done this with mice? Oni to dělali s myškama? And they have made mice rest on a fourth day. A dělali myškama odpočinek každý čtvrtý den. In other words, they give them the cheese and don't make them work for the cheese. Any other day, by the, but except the, the seventh day, každý jiný den mimo ten sedmý den, the mice is more aggressive and loses his his well-being. A ta myšička byla více agresivní a ztrácí svoji ztrácela svoji. His normal mice behavior is altered. A její normální myší jednání se měnilo. Which would be compared to humans as to mental. Což se dá porovnat s mentálními chorobami u lidí. When they gave the mice the seventh day to rest, když dali myšce ale sedmý den na odpočinek, everything falls in place. Tak všechno zrovna se stravilo. I could give you many examples of human. A mohu vám dát mnoho příkladů u lidí, že i tam se stane ty stejné věci. So is that the seventh day? Takže to není ten sedmý den. What did God create? Co Bůh stvořil? After creating for six days, the seventh day, Sabbath, he rested. So what's special about the Sabbath? He went, I bless the Sabbath. That's it. Like we do today. We bless the Sabbath. So, you know, humanly speaking, ah, uh -uh, don't get confused. You could have fruits and you could have gifts, but if it's not for the Holy Spirit, if it's not godly, divine, if he doesn't honor him, is that the same? Takže pán Bůh nějak začaroval tu sobotu, aby teda byla požehnaná. A ne, ne, když to není o něm a s ním, tak tam není to požehnání. So to make sure, to make sure, that that really happened, he did something that we need to understand. Tak udělal něco, čemu teď potřebujeme porozumět. On the seventh day, God added a touch. Sedmý den Pán Bůh dodal svůj dotek. Of tranquility. A po pokoje, klidu. Of harmony. Harmonie. The word in Hebrew. To slovo v hebrejštině. Shabbos. Shabbos. Which is related to the word Shabbos. Je vztažné k tomu slovu Shabbos. It means to dwell. Znamená přebývat. In the Sabbath, God, after finishing the world creation, He dwelled in Shabbos Shabbos. He dwelled. He dwelled on the Sabbath. That's how he was able to bring harmony and peace into the, the world of creation. 
A tak mohl do toho světa stvoření přinést pokoj a harmonii. That's why it's important that I'm starving. Proto je tak důležité, abychom právě přišli. As we understand this, když tomu takhle rozumíme, we embrace Shabbat Shalom. Abychom přijali ten sobotní pokoj. It's not the day. To není jenom den. It's who is in that day. God gave Himself to the Sabbath. He dwelt in the Sabbath to have special communion with the he and the she. I'm not sure God has been. But God came together with that couple to bring that harmony. And that's exactly what he wants to do with us today. He brought that dimension that he had not created before, but only in Sabbath, himself. Yes, I agree with you. Everything he created points to him. Glorifies him. Even men and women should, even in their free will, that's what we were made for. But it's not over until it's over and he gave himself. It's interesting to know that even when we sin, he would still give, give himself through his son, Jesus Christ. Přesto nám stále dává sám sebe v Ježíši Kristu. Or note that God has no time. He doesn't have a watch. Všimněte si, Pán Bůh nemá hodinky. He is eternal. Bůh je věč. Therefore, when we partake in Sabbath with Him, takže my když trávíme ten čas s ním v sobotě, we are participating of His infinite time called eternity. Tak my se vlastně Účastníme na té jeho věčnosti. In other words, it's a taste of eternity. Jinými slovy, je to předchuť věčnosti. Why would we be satisfied with only just going to church on Sabbath? Proč by nám mělo jenom stačit chodit si po hrosti, jít do kvorku? Going to house, to the house real quick to prepare the meals. Rychle utíkat domů, připravit nějaký život. Maybe to have a nice nap, because we're really tired from the week. A možná si zdřímnout, protože jsme hrozně unaveni. And just wait for sundown to Carry on, do our thing. Aha, to čekat jenom než teda to slunko zapadne, aby jsme zase mohli makat. Instead of continuing to change in the world. Místo toho, aby aby pokračoval měnit svět. God brought everything to harmony within Himself. Bůh přináší všechno do harmonie s ním samotným. When we keep the Sabbath. Když my zachováváme sobotu, we also participate with him in that harmony, in that peace, in that eternity. My se účastníme té harmonii toho pokoje, jeho věčnosti. You would have to admit with us, and I'm about to finish. A budeme za chvilku končit a asi bychom si měli připustit, that we are tied down to this material world. Že jsme tak nějak připoutáni tady k tomu materiálnímu světu. Oh, and I'm not saying anything about that. I'm not criticizing or saying that that's bad. Já nechci říkat, to je špatný, nechci to kritizovat. It's just a fact. We're tied down in a lot of ways to this material world. To je prostě fakt. My tady žijeme na materiálním světě. And the different pressures that are defined a ty různé tlaky, které se nějak popisují by obligations and responsibilities. A povinnostmi How many of you feel tied down during the week because of school or work or responsibilities? Kdo z vás je připoutaný ke škole, k povinnostem? Raise your hands. V práci, zvedněte ruku. Všichni máte. We find no matter where we go that this is not only a fact. My si s tím nehledě na to, kam jdeme, že to nejenom je fakt. But we also find people that are, that are saying, I have no way out. Ale máme taky lidi, kteří říkají, ale já z toho nemůžu nějak vyskočit, odejít. I point to you because you said earlier you were doing um, helping people with mental health problems. And they get to the point of being stressed and an anxious. And they have no way out. On Sabbath. On Sabbath. 
Man could be a man. Muž může být mužem. A woman could be a woman. Žena může být ženou. And everything that we do, we should glorify him. A ve všem, co děláme, máme oslovovat je. So let's come together. Takže přijdeme spolu. Forget for a minute that you came here. A zapomeneme na chvíličku, že jsme přišli od někud. To seek God reveal some special mission or vision for you. Abychom uh, hledali misi a vizi. During the Sabbath hours, let's come in special communion with Him. A když si řekneme uh, to hlavní, že jsme přišli proto, abychom měli zvláštní společenství s Nehem. And let's look to this opportunity that He gives us. A když se budeme dívat na tuto zvláštní příležitost, kterou nám dává. Let's look unto eternity. Tak se vlastně můžeme už dívat na věčnost. If it's true that during the week we're easily engulfed in a running around. A jestli je to pravda, že během toho celého týdne jsme v podstatě jenom v jednom kole. It's also true. Tak je zároveň pravda. That we could be easily embraced by him if we only let him in the Sabbath hours in a very special way. Je můžeme být jednoduše objatí Bohem, když necháme jeho zjevit nám svou lásku v sobotní dny. It is my prayer. A je můj modlitbou. That like Joshua aby tak jako Jozue. We could decide today and say. I my jsme se mohli rozhodnout dnes a říci. As for me and my house. Co se týká mě a mého domu. I will serve the Lord. Já budu sloužit Hospodinu. Let us enjoy this time together. Užívejme si to, že jsme společně. In special communion. A in special close up with him. Zvláště ve zvláštní blízkosti a společenství s ním. He will, through His Spirit, provide and give us what we really desire to serve Him and honor Him through His gifts and through the fruits that He wants to provide to us. To Him be the glory. I want to give you a minute. I know we're tired from the week. Já vím, že jsme unaveni po celém tom týdnu. But one, one minute. Ale jednu minutu. You choose whether you want to kneel down, stand up, or stay in your seat. Nebo stát, cokoliv. What we all need to do, or I'm hoping that we could do at this moment, is open our hearts to Him. To, co chceme, chceme každý z nás udělat v tuto chvíli, otevřít Jemu své srdce. And say, Lord, thank you not only for creation, but for your gifts and fruits through the Holy Spirit. And may we come during this hour in a very special communion with you, whether I feel you or not. Give me the reassurance that indeed you with me in faith I believe to you be the Lord. Give me the reassurance that indeed you are with me and I believe to you be the Lord. Let's take a minute to do that. 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 Let's take a minute to do that.
myslím, že nám všem nezbývá, než říci haleluja, chvála Pánu Bohu za jeho milosrdenství, za divy, za to, že tak předivně vedl každého z nás i tady toto místo a celou tu vizi, kterou mnohý, mnohým z nás vložil do srdíčka v roky a roky. Za to, že on je ten garant celého svého díla. Chceme ho za to oslavovat a budeme... A budeme zpívat píseň číslo 78 ve žlutých stránkách. Píseň číslo 78.